Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Back off. That's right. Back it off. Back it off. Back it off. But that sun is bright today, man. How y'all like my new mud flaps? Y'all like my new mud flaps? You got the bag off around here, man. I don't know, man. You got the bag off. But anyways, I got the mud flaps. I got some mud flap, brand new mud flap hanger bars and bumper also that uh, I ordered. Well, I haven't ordered them yet. Because they told me to hear some uh, people ahead of me, so I said I'm gonna come right back. Now I just ran the Mercedes, ran it to the chrome shop, let it warm up, just popped the hood, and I'm looking for any type of leads. We want to see if anything is wrong with it, so we can catch it early. So uh, I got a lot of dust down there, so ain't nothing leaking down that way. Some things I should have replaced right off the top, although it's not a problem. But uh, I need to replace this hose right here. I know my uh, my homie, the one that told me about this mechanic, told me that I need to take it to Freightliner and have him replace all the hoses and stuff, cut some brand new hoses and replace them. Well, no, he didn't say have Freightliner replace it, but he said have him cut you some new hoses. But uh, like I said, that one right there, it's got a small leak, but it ain't never gave me no issues. That's, it's been like that since, uh, since I hit the truck, okay? So it's kind of muddy, so I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to stand kind of outside this tire. I got white pants on today. I, coming from Nashville, I didn't know it rained out here. You always ask me what company I work for. So, that's my Lisa truck right there. Well, it used to be the, my Lisa truck. <laughs> not no more, of course. <laughs> oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We got the brand new turbo on for fifteen hundred. Nope, my fault. Twelve hundred, not nine thousand. That's not a nine thousand dollar turbo. The turbo is twelve hundred. Brand new, not not remanufactured. It's brand new. They had reman turbos, but I had to bring back the old turbo, and the old turbo was all the way at the shop. So obviously, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't get it. So I just bought a brand new one, which is better because. This brand new turbo was 1200 the reman was 900 so i was like man just go with the new it's the same turbo i had on before ball warner i think it's the uh, s410 turbo is what it is but see we got some new cooling hoses right here that black hose right there that's brand new that's for the heater that's for the ac right there that cooling line so that's brand new right there. We got some zip tie action. Making sure we keep that line nice and straight. That wasn't there before. I need to get me a new cooling cap too, man, so I can hide the gasket. I need to get that see-through too, but like I was telling y'all in the previous video, my mechanic want me to go buy uh, that boot one right here too, so they put a new boot on. So they probably put all, yeah, they put all new clamps on too, because that boot went right there. Them clamps looking fresh. Yeah, that's new clamps, because that these wasn't... Was these right here? It's out more. It's definitely out more. Or so it seems like it's out more. It is out more because... Yeah, it's definitely out more because I can't see that... That piece right there. See that right there? That's, that's new too. Uh, but I used to be able to see that piece right there. Now I got to kind of look under it, so... It kind of rerouted some things. Got the little drain holes right there. Of course, the water pump is new. Turbo is new. The uh, oil pump is new. The starter is new. That starter is still under warranty too. It's brand new. Uh, yeah, I know we did have starter issues. And what the starter issue was is uh, the person that installed it, they just didn't they didn't tighten the bolt on the starter, so it was uh, arcing. So we had to get the, uh, not with the starter, didn't need replacing, but they put a new gauge on down now. That was a mobile mechanic that did that right there, put that new gauge on for me. It's okay, a mechanic did that for me down in Texas, but uh, it's needed engine wash, needed engine wash. Uh, some of the old oil is still around. But uh, I'm going to fire it up and see if I see anything. 
Oh yeah, what was I telling y'all? So yeah, my mechanic want me to go to Freightliner so that if the oil or the coolant ever get low, the, the whole engine will just shut off. Just like the latest greatest shoe sign over there when the oil and the coolant get low, that sets off. So call Freightliner. They say it's just a one hour job. They hook up to the ECM. Yes, I got the EGR. No, it's not deleted. Never gave me an issue. Don't need to be deleted. So uh, like I said, it's a one hour charge. And uh, right off the top, I don't see anything wrong. Wait a minute, I see another reroute right here. It's so muddy, I don't wanna get in there, but these two, uh, that pipe right there, that one right there, this one. I see it's rerouted. It's re re rerouted along through there. I don't remember how it was routed before, but I know it didn't go like that. I know the pipe did go down and under, of course. That's the pipe cost me $2,500. That damn pipe, that, that's, that, that was the cooling leak right there before. That was $2,500 to fix that. You know, to rebuild this whole engine was $3,000. What kind of shit is that? Talking about a modern day robbery. I paid $2,500 to replace that pipe, that one little pipe. Let me go on the other side. Like I said, it's muddy, so. I got my boots on, man. I didn't know it right. You got to excuse me. Otherwise, I came better prepared to get dirty, but. Yeah, that pipe right there, it goes down and it runs along the heads. Cost me $2,500. Matter of fact, it was a shot where y'all can't see it, but. It's a shop on the other side of this trailer, the tank wash. They did it, 2500 Like I said, the mechanic charged me $3,000 to rebuild the whole damn thing. I should've just, well, I didn't know the mechanic at the time, so, you know, I didn't really have no options. A lot of y'all wanna know, Andrew, why did you jump in the Lisa truck? It's because you didn't have no money. No, the reason I jumped in that Lisa truck over there is because when this engine blew up and I went to Freightliner and I went to, uh, I didn't go to Freight, did I go to Freightliner? I went to Crows. I went to Crows. I went to Freightliner. I went to a third shop too. I can't think of the name, but they gave me quotes of like thirty thousand dollars. Okay, so I said, you know what? I'm not paying them thirty thousand dollars to rebuild this engine. So I just parked the truck. I didn't know uh, any mechanics. That the, all the mechanics that I know don't that they, they, they don't work on this engine. They only work on like Cats, Cummins, and Detroit. So what ended up happening was I ran that Lisa truck, started making some connections and. Finally, one of my homies called, he said, hey, got a guy down, you know, fly out, you know, out that way somewhere. Say, yeah, man, he can rebuild that uh, Mercedes Benz for a little or nothing. And he'll be happy to do it too. So I gave the guy a call. He said, look, I can do it, but I'm very busy. Shop slam packed, everybody need an engine rebuilt. You know, so uh, he said he could do it, but just, you know, it's, it, you know, he said he need about what, two months, two months before I can, get the truck towed though because he didn't even have no space in his uh in his yard but once he got one space he got one space called the tow truck got it towed then it took another month uh because he had of course it was trucks ahead of me so um once he finally got it in as you can see it got rebuilt let's fire it up oh no free advertisement i'm gonna take this blue stick off Shit, that's on now. Don't I got that razor still? Give me that goddamn razor. Still got that razor. Where that razor? I'm going to hit a razor in here. I'm going to keep this. I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. See, that it, it's just too much of too much QC action going on here. I don't even know what's under here, man. I ain't popped this. Hopefully, don't nothing spiders and stuff jump out. Lions, tigers, and bears. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I'm just saying. I didn't know what was under here. That's empty like it ain't nothing, man. I need to clean this stuff out. I got the air holes right there to air up my tires. I know that still work. Hopefully, I still got an air gauge. Got some hub, uh, <laughs> uh, some hub oil. Hub oil. We got the hub oil. Uh, that little tube here. If I guess I need to post some uh, some oil in the engine. This is all empty. Throw this away. Can't do nothing with it. Empty. 
Oh, I know why I got these cooling bottles for. That was for when the flat top uh, needed to make it back from Texas back to here. That's what that cooling was for. Yeah, we, we put, what, four, five gallons in here and got it all the way back for the wind. We got it back for the wind. I need to take this to, uh, I'm going to clean all this out. I don't want to just clean it out here. Damn, bottles, I can't even see heating up in here. What was I looking for? Oh, the razor edge. I know it's a razor in here. There you go, right there. Damn, the razor ain't in here. Is that the razor? Oh, man, it's kind of rusty. It's kind of rusty. Let me see. gonna peel my paint off I don't got no spray you see that worked perfect right there but I need some spray to get up under there so it don't peel my paint off see I used to see how they just slide under that like that and then you just peel that whole damn thing off but I don't want to take off my paint but that's 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 got to go only reason I kept this carry on here, did the phone die? What the fuck going on? Oh, I got 5%, man. Why the light always dim the way you can't even see it? Hold on, y'all. We got technical difficulties. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think I got 5%. Damn, I can't even see shit. Okay, there we go. Okay, my bad, y'all. We only got 5%. So let me speed up the process. Oh, shoot. Where the key go? Man, what do I do with the key? Here it is right there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, push button start. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on now. See that button right there? Watch this. Oh yeah. to take it to get an engine wash. Engine wash. I hear the governor still work, huh? Yes, indeed, boy. Yes, indeed. We need some new lights, too. I want new lights. We need new lights. I see my light bar still up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so hard. To say goodbye, but we out of here.